All right, so it's no surprise to anybody that the current state of Marvel is dismal at best, that it seems like their best years are behind them, and they're really trying to just have that return to form and get people excited for their stuff again. The Marvels is coming out this week, and I feel like I don't know a single soul on the planet who is excited for that movie, that it really feels like things are in a desperate state for Marvel. And recently, to go along with that, we had a bunch of leaks from variety of stuff that's been happening behind the scenes, which I did a video on, and it's it's bonkers. Like it's genuinely crazy stuff. Stuff that you would hear from like the DC universe um before James Gunn took over, not stuff that you're used to hearing from Marvel, where they know that they are in massive amounts of trouble and they are trying their best to get out of it and they have all these crazy ideas like replacing kang with doom because people don't really seem to like kang and the whole blade movie is just a mess but one of their biggest ideas was actually to bring back the original avengers and most specifically to bring back Iron Man. And so we have gotten reports this morning um, from a Twitter user who sometimes is like fully on track and fully right and leaks information and it's 100% correct. And other times has gotten some things wrong. But overall, what they're reporting as to what happened today is in line with all of the leaks we've been hearing that are more credible and viable. And so it's not that this Twitter user doesn't actually leak stuff that's 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 true they they actually do so you have to take it with a grain of salt of it might potentially not be true but it probably is true because it's in line with everything that we've been hearing and the rumor is that today robert downey jr has signed on to return as iron man and so i really want to dive into my thoughts with you guys i will first up give like my optimistic pro side and then I'm gonna dive hardcore into my cons because I do not feel positively about this announcement at all. Let's dive into it. So first off, the positives. If I'm trying to be optimistic, how do I feel about this news? Well, I love Iron Man. Iron Man has always been my favorite MCU character. Um, out of all the characters they've had, I have loved him the most. He's the guy who started it all. He feels like a crowd favorite, that it's Captain America and Iron Man, that you either love Captain America and Iron Man's your second favorite character or you love Iron Man Captain America was your second favorite character that for most people those are the two characters that they connect with the most and so to see him return on screen yeah that'll be exciting um like I mean I I miss seeing Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man he's in other stuff but let's be honest his definitive performance for his career is always going to be Iron Man now and so to see that return is exciting and if I'm more optimistic, I'm like, how can they, they do this in a way that's not weird? I imagine they'll do it in Secret Wars. That Secret Wars will be this movie where a bunch of different universes kind of collide, whether it's the Fox universe, Deadpool, um, uh, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man, those crazy Fantastic Four movies, and our original Avengers will all collide in this huge secret war of all these universes kind of colliding in this giant massive war to fight off Kang or Doom or whoever they're doing in that and so they can bring back Robert Downey Jr. as like a different universe as Iron Man in a way that's not weird that that won't feel super bizarre um, to us and in a way that they can kind of explain his return and in a way that doesn't feel really desperate and also the positives is let's be honest if in like a movie that has zero hype like the Marvels if at the very end of like a trailer they give you like a little clip of like Robert Downey Jr.'s voice sounding like he's returning, we would, our butts would be in those seats. Like it would be sold out. That we would all show up to see Robert Downey Jr.'s return as Iron Man. That this is gonna bring some level of excitement back to Marvel, at least for a very short period of time. And so that can be a positive that maybe they can infuse some excitement back into this franchise. But let's dive into the cons because oh boy, I think this is a horrible look. It it just, it feels so desperate. Like it is so embarrassing to me that this is even something that's being not only rumored, but now leaked as it's happening. 
um, that it means that Marvel is in such a low point and it hasn't even been that many years since Endgame where all of our worst fears are coming true of like I remember Endgame being over and me being like okay they're gonna have a struggle from here like they've killed off some of those big characters and we've been building up to this huge thing and for them to keep people's interest for the next phase is gonna be difficult because it felt like everything was building up to this and now it's over and that has been the case ever since and slowly and things didn't start off bad like when far from home came out things seemed really good um and things were kind of chugging along shang chi i actually really enjoyed and there, there felt like good movies but when the pandemic hit and specifically when bob Iger resigned at disney and bob chapek took over things have fallen apart and now bob Iger's back at disney they fired bob chapek so they're kind of rebuilding and they're trying to work back to what what they were before um but my excitement level is super low and to be honest this just feels so desperate um we're bringing back these characters it feels embarrassing like i don't know it's it's just genuinely not a good look and as much as i love robert downey jr's iron man to bring him back feels so lame like it's just so obvious you're doing this to try to get us back interested in this franchise and it's like it's not subtle <laughs> like it it just doesn't look good at all um and and the the biggest thing that i feel is that the characters aren't the problem that's not the problem at marvel right now the problem is your content is like diluted and so mediocre um Again, I always say this, Iron Man was a C or D list character before that first movie that you took this character nobody knew and nobody cared about and you gave him a great story with great acting, um, great storytelling, great visuals and people fell in love with that character and that's what's missing from Marvel since Endgame is it feels like they just expected they could ride off that wave of success and keep pumping out mediocre stories with mediocre scripts and that we would just accept it because we've been here for this long and it just isn't the case that they need to go back to finding that passion that moon knight is a really cool character captain marvel is a really cool character doctor strange um shang chi uh black panther all of these characters are very cool and have so much potential and you guys have wasted it the problem isn't that you don't have iron man anymore the problem is that you're not putting in the effort to these stories that you need to put into them to get us to love these characters again nobody cared about guardians of the galaxy until you gave us a phenomenal story with great characters and so the characters aren't the problem it's the stories you're telling that i would way rather see marvel announced that they're cutting way back to just doing three movies a year and like two shows and that would have me pumped because it means that they would be putting in way more effort into their stories and and way more thought and time is being spent on them instead of just producing as much stuff as possible and just hoping that if you throw enough stuff at the wall something will stick that that's actually the problem and to me hearing that robert downey jr is back it just feels desperate and it makes me worried that they're not recognizing what the actual problem is and it's bad stories <laughs> like that's genuinely why they're not even like like let's be honest they're not bad stories most of them are just like so vanilla that that's the problem that you need to give us something interesting um and i really think at least i hope that kevin feige and the people over at marvel are recognizing this and that they actually address not just um the fans like lack of hype I want them to address their stories and if you create great stories people will start showing up again hype will come back around um, and so I hope that's what happens I, I hope they don't just lean on nostalgia for Robert Downey Jr's Iron Man and hope that we show up and that's all that they do because at the end of the day if you bring back Robert Downey Jr and it's a terrible story it's not gonna matter ask the flash they brought back Michael Keaton's Batman and nobody cared um, because the story sucked and if you don't fix this story problem it's going to feel the same way that this will be like a flash 2.0 but this is going to be the marvel's version of the flash where you get a really crappy movie with a cool cameo and they hope that that's enough to make you happy and just for me personally it's not going to be that if you're going to bring back robert Downey jr my standards for whatever you're going to do with him are way up because you are now playing with nostalgia in a way that can actually ruin the thing that came before 
And so don't do it. If you're going to bring him back, give him a great story. And I also trust that Robert Downey Jr. wouldn't come back if they didn't have a great story. Um, he said it on multiple occasions that he would be willing to come back, but it would have to be for the right story. And so I have some hope in that. Um, but overall, this news is not good news to me. <laughs> it makes me very anxious. But I want to know what you guys think. So head down to the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts. Are you excited for this? Are you nervous for this? Um, do you think this looks desperate? Do you think that this is a good move? Let's have that conversation. I genu genuinely want to hear your guys' thoughts on this. And again, I'm a small YouTube channel, so any little bit helps. So every like, every comment, every subscription um, helps me out a ton. And so if you would be willing to do that, um, I highly appreciate it. So like, comment, subscribe, all that junk. And I will see you guys in the next one.